The Human Immune Response, Part 3, and this is geared towards the Irish Leaving Cert and you should always use your own textbook. Immunity can be long-term or it can be short-lived. Long-term immunity requires the production of memory B and memory T cells. These cells will live for long periods of time with the ability to recognise a previously encountered antigen. Memory B and memory T cells can only be produced by you. This can be done naturally, for example when you actually do get sick or you really do get an infection and your immune response overcomes the pathogen by producing antibodies. In this case, memory B cells will remain when that pathogen has been overcome and so too will memory T cells. This is known as natural active immunity. Artificial active immunity is when your immune response is tricked into action, as in the case of vaccination. This is where a weakened version of a pathogen is introduced into the body to cause antibody production. As you actually really do produce antibodies, you actually really do produce memory B cells and memory T cells, and these will stick around for long periods of time with the ability to recognize the specific antigen. This is called artificial active immunity. So active immunity, whether it's natural or artificial, always results in memory B cells and memory T cells surviving to confer or to give you that long-term immunity. Those memory cells are really good at remembering and recognizing particular specific antigens and they know how to deal with them. In short-lived immunity, no memory B cells and no memory T cells are produced to linger, so there is no ability to recognize any antigen or to initiate the correct antibody production. Short-term immunity is passive immunity. The antibodies are produced or made by another organism and they're introduced into your body. This occurs naturally from mother to baby via the placenta and also in breast milk. So from mother to baby, this is an example of natural passive immunity. Passive immunity can also be artificial. This would be when antibodies are actually injected into you, as in the case of getting a tetanus jab. So this is a case of artificial passive immunity. In passive immunity, whether it's natural or artificial, no memory B cells and no memory T cells are produced, so there is no long-term immunity, no memory. Autoimmune diseases, let's just give a sentence about those. Well, autoimmune diseases, and they seem to affect more females than males, are diseases in which the immune response recognizes normal, healthy tissue as foreign and attacks it. Lupus and multiple sclerosis are two autoimmune diseases to note. So that was the immune response. Please note that this is a very simplified version. Immunity actually is a complete science on its own. Best of luck in your leaving cert. Please make sure you use your textbook and always do pass papers. Good luck.